and welcome to the Gadget Show Web TV. Now, we all do it, but which is the best social networking tool to update your social life? John has taken Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus to do a gadget test to find out. Over the past few years, social networking has taken the world by storm with the likes of Facebook and Twitter. Now, after failed attempts with Google Wave and Buzz, Google has re-entered the world of social networking with Google+. Plus. But how does it compare to Facebook and Twitter? Well, initially, it feels a bit like Facebook in the sense you get a stream of updates. But where it differs from Facebook is that uh, rather than treating all your friends and acquaintances as equal, you're encouraged to put them into individual circles that you can treat differently. They give you four to start with, friends, family, acquaintances, and people who you just want to follow. In that sense, it's a bit more like Twitter, you can just follow people, you don't have to get permission to, uh, to be connected with them. Um, but you can add circles of your own, for example I've added one here for uh, North One Television, all those colleagues I work for at the Gadget Show, like uh, Colin Byrne, I can put him in there. So the key thing about these circles is that you can choose which circle you want to send a particular update to, or you might want to send it to all of them, and you can have uh, the same people in different circles if you want to. And then when you come and look at their updates, you go over to your homepage, which is basically a stream rather like the Facebook wall, except it isn't in the sense that you can either choose all your updates from everybody, or you can just choose particular ones from particular circles. For example, I could just go to North One Television there, and there's Colin. What's he been up to? Um, oh, he's making more music recommendations. Going back to the home page, you can uh, chat here, there's a button for that there, or indeed you can uh, start a hangout, which is Google's name for a video chat. I've done that, it says uh, John Bentley is hanging out, I didn't necessarily particularly like that as a phrase, but uh, what that does, that appears on any circle I want it to appear on, and then friends can join me. There's also something down here on the left-hand side of the home page called Sparks. What this is, is a sort of search facility based around the interests. Uh, there are a few suggested here, cycling, fashion, recipes. I'm not going to go for those. I'm going to put in 3D photography instead. Then what will happen, it will search for things around the web about 3D photography and I can share them with my friends in whatever circle I want. It's also mobile, at least it is if you've got an Apple or an Android phone, because there are now excellent apps available for both those mobile phone operating systems. In fact, the major problem with Google Plus at the moment is that it's still in experimental beta form. You've got to be invited to join it, and as a result of that, there aren't necessarily going to be all your friends already on it. I can't see it replacing Twitter quickly because Twitter still has an immediacy and directness, but I can see it providing very tough competition for Facebook, particularly the way you can organize your friends into those circles. I can't see Facebook not responding to that with something equally effective in the near future. As it is, I really do think it has enormous potential.